Rwandan President Paul Kagame has met French President Emmanuel Macron at the Elysee Palace in pa uh, Elysee Palace in Paris. The two presidents are looking to improve bilateral ties after two decades of tension over the 1994 Rwandan genocide. France has admitted mistakes over the genocide but denied Rwandan accusations it was complicit in the mass killings. Kagame will also discuss climate and peacekeeping operations in Africa with Macron. The Rwandan leader is the current president of the African Union. I have a lot of ambition for this country. Paul has a lot of ambition for his country and Africa. And I think it's, it's very important to have direct discussion to see how we can make more, have better innovation and more business in our countries to be created. It's good for our people. Well, for more on the Rwandan president's visit to France, we're joined by our correspondent, Elena Cassas, live in Paris. Elena, just so far, what's transpired from Kagame's visit uh, to France and what should we expect in the coming days? So Paul Kagame sat in today on Man uh, Macron's lunch with some of the world's most famous tech CEOs, including Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, Microsoft's Satya Nadella, and the CEOs of IBM and Intel. And tomorrow he'll be uh, attending a startup uh, event, a startup salon here in Paris, which is focusing on helping African companies raise investment in Europe to carry on with their startup. So tech investment is a key theme of this visit. But nobody in the French presidency is hiding the fact that relations between these two countries are complicated. Macron and Kagame in their meeting today said they were trying to stick to consensual topics. So aside from tech innovation that also includes climate change and preparing July's African Union summit in Mauritania. Mm. And as you said, Elena, of course, when it comes to France and Rwanda, their relationship is complicated. And a lot of that comes from the 1994 Rwanda genocide. But what are the major sticking points? And is there any hope that they will be resolved anytime soon? Well, uh, there's a legal cr process going on in Rwanda which aims at judging former French soldiers, people in the French military, for possible involvement in the genocide. So a Rwandan court has accused French soldiers of having been complicit in it, something that France very strongly denies. Now, uh, France says that Rwanda has launched this case in response to a French court case into uh, who fired the missile that shot down the plane of the Rwandan president, Yuvenal Habarimana, which was, of course, the incident which is believed to have triggered that genocide back in 1994. A few years ago, a French court uh, called for the extradition of a number of people close to Paul Kagame, including a current government minister, because they believe they were implicated in that 1994 attack. Uh, Rwanda has refused to extradite them, and France believes that it's launched this separate legal case, essentially trying to get back at France. France has now disclosed all the documents that it has relating to the French troops that were present in Rwanda at the time of the genocide and while they admit that France made mistakes, the country continues to insist that its troops were not complicit. Elena Casas, live for us there in Paris. Thanks very much for that update.